Okay, hi guys. So this is me editing um, later in the, the day that this was filmed. There are some things that happen in this video that were not ever planned for. And so there are some rule additions that will be added <laughs> in the video. Sorry, the lighting is weird. I have my lights on, but I just want to say like, <laughs> I know this is probably going to be very long. I have over an hour and a half of footage to sort through right now. I don't understand this video at all. I don't understand how this happens in this video. I am switching my deck of cards after this because I, I mean, the deck of cards is fine. Like the actual deck itself, like I've checked it. It has all of the numbers. It's 52 cards. I, I'm scared of the deck of cards for now. And this doesn't make sense right now, but it, it will. I want to be clear that all of this is absolutely not planned none of this is like rigged or anything um this has actually all happened and i'm changing my deck of cards talk a lot of it about um changing the rules in this uh the rules actually did need to be changed when i i looked it over again all of this happened in a very specific way that allowed all of these things except one to happen and i will this won't make sense now but um i will jump in here and there and explain what is happening because it, it really, like, I had trouble understanding my own rules. I'm excited to post this video because it's absolutely insane and nervous because um, it solidifies what happened and that I actually have to deal with what's the TBR that I get for this month. So, yeah. Enjoy! <laughs> Hello! My name is Maddie or Books with Maddie, and today we are going to be doing my September deck of TBR. We have a lot to cover in this video. We have a lot that we have to get done. So let's just literally get right into it. So I believe that I have some mistakes to address. I think some rules changed last time and I forgot. So basically my very first deck of TBR video, I was like, if we get two numbers in a row, we have to pick another card, another draw. And then I proceeded to pick two of the same card in a row not the same card not the same suit but like it was two something in a row i don't remember i think it was two sixes in a row and i did not pick another card so we're starting off great because i made that mistake so i'm going to add one so i'm going to be drawing seven and then i also want to point out so in my previous video i also changed the rule to once we get three of any number in any number of videos we pick a card so let's say in the first video we got one two in the next video we got another two and in this video we get a two that's three twos that would mean i would have to pick an extra thing and then i realized that i had picked three kings one in the first video and two in the second video so technically that would yeah that would mean i would have to pick another card that would mean i have to pick eight cards so basically overview i'm picking eight cards because i pick six every month one extra because i picked two sixes in a row in the first video and didn't see it and another extra because i picked a total of three kings throughout my videos and any grouping of three i have to pick an extra card why i'm doing this to myself i'm not sure yet but let's really quickly see how we did in august i'm filming this a little bit earlier in the month because i'm only posting once a week now so i have to post this this saturday and it's currently tuesday and i don't know what i will have read by the end of this month these were the books that i was supposed to read this month out of these books i read four of them i believe and then this also i ha i was supposed to read where the desert meets the sea i just realized that which is uh, a book on kindle okay let's go over the ones that i did read so i'm gonna give you quick ratings i will go more deep into more detail uh in my wrap up rebel by marie lou was five stars ghost at a watchman by harper lee was four stars the falconer by elizabeth may was three stars oh <laughs> i've only read three of these oh god i'm going to finish order of the phoenix by the end of this month like no 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 problem we're, we've passed halfway we're like i don't know why i'm struggling with this book so much like i don't know what's going on but this will be done by the end of the month as well as unraveling my tahiro mafi um i have not read this yet but uh it it'll be done by the end of the month so that leaves two books unread which is bad romance by heather demetrios and where the desert meets the sea by i'm not sure who wrote that book Okay, here's what I might do is, because I'm filming this so early, 
I will not pick an extra card. I will pray that I finish these books. And then if I don't, I will film a clip of me picking an extra card and I will insert that at the end. So we're just gonna start with the eight picks that we have to start. Also, I got a lot of comments saying, stop hitting yourself in the face with your board. We trust that you're gonna pick the right one. Um, you don't have to show us the board every time. So I talked to my brother a little bit about this problem and we came up with a solution. So I actually haven't built the solution yet, but I'm gonna go do it and I'm gonna show you guys and it's gonna be great. Guys, look at this solution. Basically what we've done is put binder clips in string so that I can take it down to have access to my bookshelves when, when needed. Wait, where's my deck of cards? Oh, you know what I need to talk about first? I need to talk about what books I would like to be on this month's TBR. I would like to read Crooked Kingdom this month and hopefully I can get Crooked Kingdom and King of Stars on this TBR. That would be great. And the book Morgan and I are reading for our book club is uh, The Blind Side by Michael Lewis. So I'd like that to be on TBR. That is her pick. I have not improved the TBR trifold since last month or basically since the first day that I made it. I apologize, it still looks the way that it does. So I'm just shuffling and here we go. Three, two, one. Jack of Diamonds. So, Jacks are, of course, pick from TBR jar. Okay, I thought about it, and what I'm gonna do is compromise. So I'm changing the rule to if I, once I've picked four of the same number or face card, then I will have to pick an extra one. So, yeah. So technically that means that I only have to pick seven this month since that revokes the previous rule that I picked three kings um, throughout the last two videos. So, seven draws this time. So we just got uh, a Jack of Diamonds, which means I have to pick out of my TBR jar. I feel like it's pretty mixed up. I'm gonna reach in. I don't know why I'm closing my eyes and pick, oh, 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 this one for sure, this one. This is the one. Please be something good. Okay, it is, oh no. I don't wanna read this book. I don't wanna read this book. <laughs> okay, it is uh, A Discovery of Witches. This is a thick book. You're like, oh, that's not that bad, right? Until you look at the size of the text. What is the page count? 580 pages. <sighs> that's fine. You know what? It's fine, okay. We're reading A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness, guys. <laughs> Six more draws to go. Next is five of uh, spades, and spades are prompts, so let's see what this correlates to. Five is over here. Written by a woman of color. Fun. Okay, 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 okay. You know what I'm gonna read? I'm gonna read, okay, I know what I'm gonna read. This is so exciting. I'm gonna read Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I wanted to read this last month, in um august and i didn't i never got to do it and i'm actually going to do a video surrounding this book in a specific topic that this book covered yes okay i'm so excited i'm going to read antalya hibbert is an author of color um black british author so wonderful this book has so much diversity in it and i'm very excited to get to it we picked back up as far as tallies go that is the first five that we've ever gotten apparently so we're gonna tally that okay Five more to go. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Another Jack. Okay. <sighs> okay, well, that's the fourth Jack. And we can't change the rule again. So that would mean we have to add another, another thing. And we are going to pick out of the TBR jar again. <sighs> okay. And we got Cinder! Oh, that's so exciting! Wait, dude, that's so exciting. I've been wanting to read this book forever. Okay, I'm happy with that. You know what? I'm not even mad. Okay, Cinder by Marissa Meyer. That's very exciting. Morgan's gonna be very excited that I'm reading this. Um, this is her favorite series. So, yeah, okay, I'm very excited about that. We, we picked three, so that means we have to pick uh, uh, 
Five more. Okay. Yes. Five more. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ten of spades. You know what? I forgot to switch the prompt out. Okay. Before we pick out the ten of spades, let's re let's replace the five of spades. So written by a woman of color will be replaced with this one, which is a book I meant to read in 2019. Uh, Ten of Spades is from Banned Book List. I'm not exactly sure which books are on this list, so let me look it up really quickly. There are a lot of banned books, apparently, and by banned books, these mean that they were challenged in schools, saying some certain schools couldn't uh, read them or were taken out of the library for one reason or the other, but I found out that there were certain schools that actually banned the Harry Potter books. Uh, so I think I'm going to use this prompt to for the Goblet of Fire because I did look it up and it looks like there were certain schools who had banned all of the Harry Potter books. And so I'm going to go grab the Goblet of- did I say the Goblet of Fire? I meant the Half-Blood Prince. So yeah, this works out uh, pretty well actually, so I'm going to be reading the Half-Blood Prince um, for the banned books. So that is four books, so four more, right? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Six of diamonds. Did we replace that prompt? We didn't. Okay, let's do that really quickly. Ten of spades, which is all the way down here, which was banned book list. We are going to reach in here and pick out a LGBTQ plus rep. Six of diamonds. Okay, which is diamonds. Six, uh, the highest rated book on my Goodreads. Okay, so we had this one last time, but it was lowest rated book on Goodreads, and we had some trouble sorting the books, if you recall. I don't know why my phone won't sort it in the right way, but I, I'm going to have to eyeball it again. So I'm going to quickly eyeball this, see what the highest rated book is, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I have like a bookshelf on Goodreads, that's like my physical TBR. And the highest rated one in there from what I checked a couple of times, and it seemed like it was Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman, it was 4.48 was the average rating. But I looked at Crooked Kingdom, which is something, which is what I want to read this month, and it's 4.6. So technically that outranks it, but I don't know if it counts because I've already read that book. So is it on my TBR? Yes, I'm going to go with it. Why do I keep, like, who's really, who's really keeping track? You know what I mean? Like, who's out there going, you're disobeying the rules? Because you know what? I made the rules. So, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. So we're going to be reading Crooked Kingdom! I'm so excited. I love this book so much. I'm so excited to reread it. Yes! Okay, I forgot to take this off. Six of diamonds. We're gonna shuffle these up and get my newest published book. How many more do we have? That's five. So three more picks. Okay, next, three, two, one, nine of spades. All right, let's take a look. Nine of spades, sequel. Okay, so Kirk and Keenan would have counted for this. So I might go with, I'm gonna go with Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. You know what? Can I just say something? We have never gotten a queen or an ace playing this game ever in all of the videos. We've never gotten a queen or an ace. Is that not wild? Is something wrong with my deck of cards? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, five. The reason I'm sad about this is because that means I have to pick another book because we got two fives in the same video. Okay, so this is where the video becomes a little bit confusing and I messed up. So basically the reason why this one is incorrect is because I misunder- I just messed up and did it so that anytime I picked a card, a number that I'd already picked earlier in the video, I had to repick it. So basically, the reason I think in this part that I have to pick another card is because I had already gotten a five earlier in the video. So just now, I had picked a five of hearts. Earlier in the video, I picked a five of diamonds, and that only happens if I get two of those in a row. So if I were to have picked the five of diamonds and then the five of hearts, that's when I would have had to have picked another card, but since there was cards in between them, I didn't have to do that. The only other occasion that I would have to do this is if I were to pick the exact same card in the same video. So like, if I were to pick a five of hearts and then later in the video pick a five of hearts again, I would have to then pick 
another book if that makes sense but just because it's the same number doesn't mean i have to pick another one unless it's the exact same card okay five a classic a classic classics are hard i wonder if i'm reading any classics for class this year i don't know i don't know what i'm reading yet if i am reading a classic this month for a class i'm gonna replace it with that um but if not then i'm gonna read um Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Or should I read Pride and Prejudice? Oh, or Little Women. Oh, which one should I read? Okay, I'm gonna read Pride and Prejudice instead. So the only c version I have of uh, Pride and Prejudice is in this chonker, which is uh, the complete works of Jane Austen, just basically in this collection, um, which is actually my mom's. Um, so I'm gonna read it in in this form, but it's not the whole book. It's just like. A little bit at the beginning so yeah pride and prejudice yay we have two more to go guys we are it's gonna be fine as long as we don't get any more speed bumps oh we have to change that prompt what we ha had is classic am i pointing to a classic and we're going to switch it out with did it just fall or did we not replace sequel we didn't replace sequel i'm bad at this i'm sorry okay i'm gonna literary fiction okay and we're also gonna i forgot to replace sequel down here i forgot to replace this one so i'm gonna take them out of the envelope to pick okay and i'm gonna pick this one random country which just means i'm gonna use like a random country generator <laughs> is that a thing i'm gonna like i'm gonna somehow pick a random country and then read a book that takes place in that country or from an author that's from that country let's shuffle we have two more picks okay three two one two of hearts which is another genre poetry oh that's easy i don't have any unread poetry collections okay <laughs> i don't really read a lot of poetry i don't really collect a lot of poetry so i don't have a lot of poetry there was Poetry that I just, that I just was like, oh, I want to read this. Let me find it. So there is a new, po or it's not really new. It came out in 2019. Um, it's called Mad Woman and it's by Cat Savage. It's only like $6 on Amazon. So I'm just going to order that and then read that this month. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. That means we are on our final draw of, what is going on? Does this feel lopsided to anybody else? I'm not sure what's happened, but it seems as though it's gone lopsided. And I don't, I don't really feel like fixing it, to be honest. <laughs> okay, final draw is... Jack! I just realized I picked three Jacks in the same video. So I think I have to pick another one. Which is dumb, but I guess that's how it works. I don't know. Why am I not more panicked about this? I don't know. This is going to be my 10th one. Well, no, this will be my 9th, and then I have to pick another one, which will be my 10th. And pick one out of the TBR jar. Jack is TBR jar. And three, two, one. Okay. I got eating animals. I don't want to read this book. Okay, it's this, which I got at the thrift store. It's basically like... It's about eating food and animals and like the grossness of the food industry and everything. I just, it's just that, it's not that I don't want to read it, it's just that it's non-fiction and I'm not in a non-fiction mood, I'm in a fantasy mood. And this just feels like it's going to take me a long time to get through. You know what I mean? You know those books that you, what? I don't know what this is. I'm not sure what's happening. But we're going to find out. We're going to pick one more card. This is the last one. Everybody send prayers right now that this is the last one that we have to pick. I can't read. I can't read this many. I have school. I can't. I don't have the time. I don't have the stamina. Okay, three, two, one. What is it? Is it a joker? Ah! what to do at this point ah! okay i'm standing now because this is the choice that i'm making 
I chose this. Okay, what was it? Literary fiction? We already, Okay, I have to fix this. This is so lopsided. We got another two, which was the one number I forgot to be warned of. Does anybody else understand what's happening? So basically we have literary fiction. Did I... Am I delusional? Did we not pick another card and put literary fiction right here? Did that happen? What is happening? Did I put it back in here because I'm dumb? This happened. Guys, I know this happened. No, we put literary fiction there. We got poetry last time and we didn't repick one. Okay. Let's pick three, two, one. I don't, I don't know why this is happening to me, but literally this is cursed. This is cursed. This video is cursed. It has to be. I'm, I got classic again. And it's, ugh, I love classics guys. Here's the thing, but they're really hard to get through. And so I don't want to read two classics in a month is the thing. And you know what, what the other upsetting thing is? is this, I have three perfectly great books that want to be on my TBR, and they're not, because this is cursed. This is cursed, okay? This video is cursed. Somebody come sage my, this board. It's cursed. Okay, we have to pick another freaking classic, which means, I don't even know, Wuthering Heights? I'm going with Wuthering Heights. I'm not even questioning my decisions anymore. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know who to trust. I don't... <laughs> Guys, what is actually happening? Like, this is what? The 11th book? I can't... I can't... I don't have the time. But the thing is, is that it just builds. And the thing is, that if I don't finish all these books, they just add on to next month. And so it's never ending. I have created a never ending cycle of... This game, it will go on for the rest of my life. And you know what the stupid thing is? I have four books to finish by the end of August. And if I don't, I have to add more books to this TBR. If I have to read a classic for one of my classes this month, I'm going to swap out Wuthering Heights. So disclaimer, if in my September wrap up, I didn't read Wuthering Heights is because I read another classic for school. And so, yeah, that's, that's the plan. Did we switch out classic? No, we did not. Okay, classic dystopian okay we have to pick one more guys but okay guys ready i don't know what happens at this point because this is the third five i've picked i guess i pick another one I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do in this case. This isn't supposed to happen because there are 52 cards in a deck and reasonably you should not get the same. Statistically, this shouldn't happen. You know what I mean? I should not have gotten this card this many times. Statistically. The statistically, this shouldn't have happened. And yet, and it happened not once, but twice in this video. Well, the chances of that, out of 10, how many did I pick, 11 books? The chances of that happening twice, right? People who are math majors or are good at statistics, tell me the chances of this are so small, right? I don't really know what to do because statistically, I shouldn't have picked a five three times. Am I wrong? Okay, let's pick this literary fiction one because we got a five of hearts and let's just do this first, which is literary fiction. Okay, I'm gonna actually, I actually have one that fits, which is the blind side. Is this literary fiction? No, this is just general fiction, right? Is the blind side literary fiction? This is nonfiction. This is a memoir. I will definitely be reading literary fiction this semester. So I'm, I must have a literary fiction. I, I don't, I genuinely don't know. I feel like I'm going crazy. I'm going to put in a placeholder book because I know that at some point 
this month I will have to read literary fiction for school. And I don't know which book it will be yet because all of my syllabus, syllabi, whatever, are not out yet. So this is a book that I'll have to read for uh, school at some point this year. And this is going to be my placeholder until I figure out what literary fiction I have to read. If I... If I don't end up having to read, for some reason, literary fiction this semester, I will replace it with On Earth, We're, we're Briefly Gorgeous, but I, I have to have read it. I, I will have to, have to. I, I can't even speak. Redo this. So we're taking off literary fiction. I don't have general fiction. Okay, next we're replacing it with contemporary. So I picked it five, three times, right? Did I? Wait, was that the second time I picked it or the third time I picked it? Oh, oh, duh, it didn't have to be hard. I picked, uh, I picked, that means we picked the exact same card. We picked the exact same card. We picked five of hearts twice. Let's look at the statistical probability of this happening. Point zero one nine is the statistical, statistical probability of that happening, okay? Do you realize how low that is? That is like, basically it doesn't happen. Okay, ready? We're picking, this is the last one, okay? We're channeling all of good energy, good vibes. We don't, this is gonna be the last card we have to pick this month. Okay, three, two, one. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening, right? That's the same card! I don't, did I shuffle it wrong? Did I shuffle, I shuffled it like six times. I don't understand, I don't understand. I don't understand. That shouldn't have happened. What is happening? What is, okay, what is happening, right? Do you think this is a joke? Like, I, I swear to you, I'm not doing this on purpose. I swear to you, I am shuffling these cards and then picking the first one that's on top. I don't understand statistically how this is happening. Math is broken, math is bro I broke math. Because the thing is, listen, 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 guys. I have to pick two more cards because of this. I have to pick, this cannot be happening. This cannot be happening. This can't be happening, right? This is impossible. What, is this a dream? This is impossible because the thing is, that is my fourth, my fourth five in this single video. Fourth, my fourth five. We established at the beginning of this video, once we get four of the same value, we have to pick another card. I don't understand how this is statistically possible. Unless I shuffled, okay, let me watch my shuffling. It, it, would it be even possible that I'd gotten the same card on top? It couldn't have been possible because the way that I shuffle, it doesn't allow that to happen. It, it that just doesn't happen. It, it, it somehow climbed its ways with its little talons to the top of the deck again. What is happening? <sighs> we're gonna pick a contemporary, we're gonna replace it, and then we're just gonna see what what happens after that because <laughs> I'm gonna pick the arc that I was talking about at the beginning. It's technically a romance, I think. Okay, so I found the book. It is called Accidentally in Love by Belinda Misson. And it is, in fact, shelved as contemporary on Goodreads right there. So this is what we're doing. We're putting that arc into this. It comes out September 11th. So I'm gonna try to read that first and prior towards that in the month. I We have to pick two more cards. I mean, this is incredible. I mean, literally, someone direct a mathematician to this video, and I want a mathematician in the comments, a mathematician, did I just say that? To, in the comments, tell me what is the statistical probability of this happening to me? There are so many numbers that have not, we have never picked a four in this game. We have never picked a four, a queen, or a king. Am I just, is it my shuffling? Is that it? Like, like I literally swear I'm shuffling so thoroughly, but, just in case it's my shuffling, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna do that thing when you're a kid when you don't know how to shuffle and you throw them on the ground and then you mix them up. I'm literally doing that because I don't know what else to do. Okay, ready? We're going to literally do this and then this. Okay, I'm just gonna literally, this is a mess, but I'm gonna pick the top one. And, okay, 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 this is not okay. 
because we've already got a 10, which means I have to pick another card. Is something, am I, are my rules on this skewed or something? From the very little math I know, the statistical probability of picking the same value card in six draws or even seven draws is less than 7%. So I'm thinking when I made that rule, that it would be just like a fun little thing, but it isn't fun anymore. <laughs> It, is it me? Like, did I make the rules in this game too hard? Because I don't think so. I think that I thought this through very thoroughly and I planned it out. I, I took weeks to plan this out. LGBTQ plus rap. We're gonna read The Fascinators. I believe this has gay rap in it. We're gonna read The Fascinators. Did this come out yet? This is an arc. I don't know when this came out. I, I'm, I'm fairly certain this is out. But um, and I, it's magic. I believe it's middle grade. Um, so hopefully this will be very easy to get through because we need some short, quick books this month. Okay, picking out another one by a person of color. I'm going to shuffle these so thoroughly. I'm shuffling so thoroughly. I've done bridges and now I'm doing this. I'm, it, I, please, please just be an, uh, one that I, that I haven't gotten yet so that I don't have to pick because we, we still have to pick two more because we still haven't recovered from picking four fives and we haven't and then we have to do it because we picked some tens okay three two one I'm I swear that I'm not doing this on purpose. I don't, I don't, I don't have an explanation for this. I do not have an explanation for what's happening. I don't, because not, I, I, I have to call somebody. I have to call somebody. Can I notify the police of this? Like, who do I tell about this? I don't, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. I, I genuinely don't know what's happening. I swear to you, like, I don't believe myself that I'm not doing this on purpose. I, I don't know how to conv- I don't know- I, 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 this is- I, this is- I, I, I have to call somebody. I have to tell some- this isn't okay. Like, the math is broken, right? Like, I- I don't- I don't understand. I don't understand. That is the fifth time I've gotten- I- I don't- I don't know what to do. I, 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 I've lost track of how many cards I'm supposed to be picking at this point. I think I have to pick two more because I just had to pick two more and then I got another five. So that would mean I had to pick another. I, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to process this information. I don't know how to process what's happening. I, I don't know how to even be funny right now because that is the scary, this is the, I have chills. Like, I don't know. I have literal chills. I can't, I don't, I don't know if you can see them. They're more prominent on this hand. I have, I have goosebumps right now because I don't understand how this is happening. This card is literally cursed. I don't understand what is happening right now. I, I'm genuinely a little bit scared, okay? I know that's stupid, but I'm a little bit scared. Did we even ever replace this? We never replaced contemporary. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to process this information. I, I don't, I don't understand how this is actually possible. I do not understand, like, I, like, I'm, like, shaking, okay? I'm, I'm, sh my hands are shaking. And is that dramatic? Probably, like, okay, I'm not even, like, I, is, am I being dramatic? A little bit, but. Is it kind of reasonable to be this dramatic? Yes, because this is nearly statistically impossible. Oh, fiction, okay. Yeah, general fiction to replace this one. I, okay, well that means we have to pick a, a general fiction. I, it, is this okay? So what I'm gonna do is read this book called Here is the Beehive by Sarah Crossan. I'm literally numb to everything that's happening right now. I don't know how to even function. It comes out in November. I, 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 I don't even know what it's about, really. Um, so we have to pick two more cards. I, I genuinely don't know how to process the information that is happening to me. Um, I, should I take that card out of the deck? 
like i don't know how to prove to you that i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna literally okay this is such a weird angle but i'm doing it so that i can show you that i'm shuffling okay i missed here you go okay there's the card weirdly enough I don't like that it's on the bottom there. I, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so, okay. Okay, so. Two. We've gotten to two, two other times in this video. I, does this, like, I don't know how to make it stop. I don't know how to make it stop. Do you under, do you, does, do you see what's happening here? Does any, like, am, I don't know how to make it stop. I don't know how to make this game stop because we've gotten to two, two other times in this video. Because it becomes statistically more likely as I have to continue picking cards that I will pick cards that are double. But there's an entire section of cards that I have not picked from. I have never picked a three, a four, a seven, an eight, a queen, or an ace. Half of the cards I haven't picked. Actually, a little bit less than half of the cards. I have never picked th today, and they're not showing up, so it cannot be me. This is just literally math screwing with me. I don't under I don't know how many more cards I have to pick up at this point. I still don't think we recovered from the five. Okay, but what I did get was reread, and so I'm gonna reread Serpent and Dove because Blood and Honey is coming out in September, so I'm rereading Serpent and Dove. I hate everything. First book, someone comments, so I'm just gonna say somebody comment a book, and then I'm gonna read that one. I don't know what to do. Can I start this TVR early? Can I start it in in this month? I have four more books to read this month. I don't have time to start it. I don't know what to do. Like, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to reconcile this. I don't know how to make this game stop. This is like a literal horror film. I'm, I'm shuffling again. I'm doing all of the things. I'm doing like 10 different ways of shuffling. I'm, I can't bridge in the air, so that's why I'm, but I'm just to prove that I'm, shuffling this like as much as I possibly can guys 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 yes we haven't gotten a seven today we have not gotten a seven okay okay this is good yes okay a seven yes we can do this yes 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 what is seven seven of hearts it's historical fiction I love historical fiction okay so update I'm reading all is fair by D Gerritsen um this is takes place during world war one it reminded me of the um, the Nightingale, there's, like, secret society type situation, 1918, and, um, yeah, so, this isn't the shortest historical fiction I have, but it's, out of, this is the second shortest, I believe, and it's, I'm more interested in this one than the actual shortest one I have. We have to pick one more, and then we're done. I've literally lost count of how many cards, I mean, how many books, there's just a literal giant stack of books next to me. Okay, please, please be something good, please don't be... Please, like, actually, please, like, no more jokes, like, I know this is funny, but, like, please. Okay, 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 we're safe, we're safe, oh my gosh, we're safe, we are safe, we haven't gotten a three yet, this is the last one, three of diamonds, we are legitimately safe, we don't have to pick any more, three of diamonds, what is it, a book under 250 pages, God is real. Uh, okay, that is a more than four word title. So a book that is less than 250 pages. Okay, let's find one. Let's take this down because we, I, no more of her. No more, no more. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, now let's find one that's less than 250 pages. Okay, this is 208. Element OP, which is like a, a general fiction book. That's it, we're done. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, let's do a quick overview of what actually just happened. Like, I... Can you see the goosebumps that I have? Ugh, it's not showing, but I have literal goosebumps. Let's go over all of the books that I have to read. A couple of them I don't have, I haven't bought yet, or are ebooks. So let's just, okay. And plus three other ones, you can't even see, plus three other ones that I haven't gotten yet. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And that's also not including the two book club, book, book, book club books that I have to read. And that's also not including if I don't finish any books this month, I have to add in. I, I don't know. Okay, let's, let's chat. I don't know how to conclude this video. Except by saying, pray for me. I, I hope everybody understands that I did not rig this or plan this or I'm not doing this for any, like, 
that genuinely happened like i got the five of hearts that many times i don't i i genuinely don't understand it seems like it that shouldn't have happened um i'm gonna th like like comment below suggestions like if i should change the rules of this game like i i feel like it's actually well thought out i got inspired a lot of bit by um other forms of um tbr games which are like like a lot of times in the wheel of tbr people will have it if they land on a color three times they have to pick a, a card and you know the chances of let's say there's eight colors on a wheel the chances of them landing like three times on that are like pretty slim and for this one it's seven percent so it's not that this game is like poorly planned although i'm sure there are like absolutely flaws with it but that general concept of it isn't poorly planned it's just the statistical probability of it is so low and it happened so many times like like explain to me what happened because i don't understand how all of that happened and how i'm gonna read that many books this month with school starting and the thing is if i don't complete any of these the number that i don't complete is added to next month so i'm going to try very very hard but please understand that if i do not complete this tbr like i'm genuinely sorry i don't know how like i i, I don't i don't think that's it, it's gonna happen um you should predict how many books i'm gonna read down below try to predict how many of these what 17 18 including the blind side i'm gonna read i'm going to go and read my butt off because i have to finish these four books before the end of this month because i cannot add another one to next month's tbr um I apologize for losing my mind during this video, but I hope that you all lost your minds along with me. Please pray for me or something, like somebody come and sage my house or something. Should I get a new deck of cards? Is that deck of cards cursed? I don't know, like, I, 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 I don't know. I, I broke math today. So if you enjoyed, please like this video, please subscribe. I will see you soon. <laughs> I, I, yep, okay, see you again sometime next Saturday, probably, I, I'll, okay, all right, bye. <laughs>